This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. This week in the Spotlight, Fukushima, a slow death. On March 11, 2011, the Fukushima nuclear disaster was set in motion from an earthquake tsunami. The six reactors have been in and out of the news ever since. This past week, the corporate media has set aside time to update the public on the state of affairs at Fukushima. Test levels of radiation are alarming and very dangerous. The General Electric design reactors are maintained by the Tobio Electric Power Company, and both have yet to find a solution to the problem of highly contaminated water being released into the environment every day. The radiation levels are the highest they've ever been, and the quality of life is being affected throughout the Pacific Rim. The poisons are contaminating the atmosphere, the Pacific Ocean, and the groundwater aquifers for the island of Japan. Evacuations have occurred, and there are more to come. Cancer rates are up, and death will be increasing at a faster rate. Fukushima is a disaster that is affecting all life forms on the planet, and very little is being done to stop this ticking time bomb. This past week, the media did its part to remind us that Fukushima nuclear reactor disaster is still happening and getting worse. The problem is so overwhelming that most choose not to think about it, hoping what you don't know won't hurt you. This problem won't go away even if we forget it today. The day is coming when all the world will regret hearing the name Fukushima. You've been listening to In the Spotlight. I'm David Naylor. Join me every Saturday night at 6 p.m. for In the Spotlight. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share what I do. Also, check out the One Minute News Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. And finally, view the series Countdown to the Collapse. All this and more on my YouTube channel or go to GetReadyProductions.com to find out more about my mother's book that I published entitled Mom Said, A Little Book to Grow By. And if you need a refresher course on resume writing, job interviewing techniques, and time management, be sure to check out my course, Skills to Pay the Bills.